Welcome back. By now, you should have a clear picture of the different queries we can use to find a single element or multiple elements in the DOM. I made a list of some of the queries we have used so far. What I would like to focus on in this particular video is the first argument passed to each of these query methods. At first glance, we may think the first argument is of type string. Well, let me tell you, it is not. Instead, the type of the first argument is what is called text match. Now, what is text match? Well, text match represents a type which can either be a string, regex, or a function. Let's understand each of them with an example. First up, text match as a string. Let's consider the following HTML, a div tag with the text hello world. If I were to ask you to find this div tag, you would type screen.getByText passing in hello world. This is what we have seen in our examples as well. But this is just one way to match a string and what we have here in fact is a full string match. If you want to match against a substring, you can pass in the options object with exact set to false. You can also ignore case by setting exact set to false. These are the different ways to match a string with your first argument. Next, let's understand text match as regex. Let's consider the same HTML as before. To select the div tag, we can use regular expressions as the first argument. Now this is not a lecture on regular expressions, so please do pause the video and Google to learn more about them. If you've got a fair idea of what regex is, let's proceed. First, we have a substring match. Even though world only is present, it will match the div tag. You can add lowercase for ignoring case with substring match. You can also have full string match using caret and dollar symbols. You can pretty much write any regex and if it matches the element text, it will find the element. This is how text match as regex works. Finally, we have text match as custom function. The custom function signature should be as follows. First argument, content. Second argument, element, both optional. And this should return a Boolean, which returns true for a match and false for a mismatch. If you were to consider the same HTML, then screen.getByText where we pass in a function that accepts content and returns content dot starts with hello will return the element. Hopefully it is now clear what the first argument to the query functions can be. Of course, I have showcased only get by text, but it is applicable to all get by and get all by class of queries. You are more likely to use it with get by text though as matching an entire paragraph of text with full text match isn't something you would normally do. Substring matching is very helpful for get by text and hopefully the text match type has made it clear how to do that. Now I have explained only through slides. So here is a quick two minute exercise for you. Back in our application.test.tsx, when finding our paragraph element, we have used the full text match with a string. I would like you to use substring match with a string, a regex, and a custom function to find this same element. Let me know in the comment section if you were able to achieve that. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.